back to my channel you know what i realized that i've been talking about cryptocurrencies mobile earning apps games and other earning platforms for more than two years already and i'm so thankful that you're still here so i can still share these things with you Thank you so much guys for your support from the beginning and the rest of our mobile earning vlogs journey. For today's video, we'll talk about what happened on the first day of barter in the Pi Network blockchain. On the 13th of July, I've seen pioneers who had their Pi moved to their available balances and they were so excited. What? goods or services they could buy now that p2p transactions are allowed i've seen people arguing about a price of an item being so expensive be that a house a car a computer set a kilo of rice a shoe a phone and so on please people we don't have to be rude to anyone if you really want that item at a lower price negotiate if it doesn't meet your want leave it and look somewhere else in the philippines we had the first transaction with pi a man had bought a couple of pizzas for 20 pi this reminds me of the bitcoin pizza guy who traded 10,000 bitcoins for a couple of pizzas this was the first transaction using Bitcoin as a currency in 2010. According to the news, the value of 10,000 Bitcoins back then was $40. Now, 10,000 Bitcoin is around $190 million to $210 million. Imagine if he kept his Bitcoin till it reached its all-time high. He could have gotten $690 million for 10,000 Bitcoins. Well, I understand why he did that because 10,000 Bitcoin back then was just $40. And if I were him, why would I use cash when I can just spend what I collected for free? And who could it ever tell that Bitcoin would fly to the moon in the first place? That transaction might be so regretful, but let's just think that his transaction helped Bitcoin's growth somehow. For these men who traded 20 pi for a couple of pizzas, I really admire the courage of the one who sold two pizzas for 20 pies, knowing that pi has no value at this time. And I also admire this guy who bought the pizza because of the story of the Bitcoin pizza guy. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of pioneers who appreciate your transaction and for contributing to the pi ecosystem. Let's all make more transactions in the Pi blockchain, but remember that the Pi mining rate will soon be dropped, so let's spend our Pi's carefully. For those pioneers whose Pi's are locked for three years, don't be sorry because you are also contributing to the stability of Pi. If you want to purchase goods and services soon, you may visit the Pi browser, click on Brainstorm, and choose Pi Chain Mall or other apps that offers goods and services. You will soon see products being sold in those apps. But for now, it's not yet available because Pi Blockchain SDK is not yet released. Meanwhile, you can buy goods and services from a nearby seller who accepts Pi as a payment. That's all for today, guys. Enjoy your earnings. You can learn from the history of Bitcoin or create your own and learn from your own history. It's your choice. I wish you all the best and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Please take care. Bye!